What is good, y'all? Welcome back to the YouTube channel, to the vibes. Uh, this video is going to be deep. This video is going to be very authentic, and this video is going to be very real, and it's going to be all off the dome. You know, it's been about two weeks since I posted on YouTube, and I've had big goals for YouTube this year. And I'm feeling the energy of like, oh man, I need to create. But I'm also, I'm not judging myself because uh, ideas have been flowing. There's been so much growth and I'm just almost being patient. I've created a couple of videos and I just haven't posted them because I just didn't feel right. So this video is just here. I just kind of want to post something. I want to get some clarity. I want to get some almost stuff off my chest. And uh, I just want to set a foundation. I think this will be a good video for me to look back on and just kind of something to post and connect with y'all at a realer level. You know, on this channel, it's going to be, it's going to be deep and it's going to be me out in nature a lot. It's going to be me, the vibes. It's going to be me having some deep, real conversation and breaking down my thoughts, my understandings of God, the universe, nature, what society we can do, what we need to do, climate change, what the real problems are, breaking down that illusion and just, I wouldn't even necessarily say exposing things, but really just giving my viewpoint on culture, the culture of nature, what I think we're doing wrong, what we need to be doing right, what we need to be talking about nor more native plants, native ecosystems, invasive plants, and just what we need to do as a world and to move through. And you know, I've, I've been on quite a journey. You know, I know YouTube is gonna be a place for me to connect with y'all at a real level, and I'm still learning it. I'm still understanding how to edit these videos, what I need to do, what I wanna create. And I remember I sat down, I created like 60 video ideas that I could do, and now it's just a matter of taking action. Now it's a matter of creating them, and that's that's why you know, I haven't posted in two weeks, so it felt a little weird. And I'm sure this video probably won't even get much views, but to me that doesn't even matter. What it matters is me being consistent. What it matters is me being disciplined, continuing to create and learn about myself, to grow deeper, and uh, just to show, shine a different light on nature, a more inspired, beautiful light on nature, and just expressing my love for nature, my connection to nature, and what I understand in nature. You know, there's a... Uh, this is all off the dome right now. So just connecting and finding that flow, finding that connection on what I want to talk about and what intuitively is going to guide me for this conversation. And uh, man, it's been such a journey, you know, as I've really started understanding that life really happens for you. And when you see it through the higher perspective and you move and raise your vibration to match that frequency, it's powerful and it's beautiful. And I'm so grateful for this purpose. I'm so grateful for this journey. You know, the journey is the destination. And I'm just so excited because I know what nature needs right now is it kind of needs a figure, it needs an icon, someone that has just a pure love for nature, a pure love for real nature, birds, wildlife, native plants, native ecosystems, uh, and just educating. And, and that's why I know I'm gonna have so much real positive change because at the root of who I am is someone who just loves nature, someone who's so passionate in nature and someone who has an energy to them that can be inspiring, that can be funny, that can be deep, that can be real, that can be educating. And I'm just so excited to do that through many ways. You know, I see myself obviously out in my property a lot, creating stuff on different native plants, uh, going to the Indiana Dunes, capturing what I see there. You know, I finally got my wildlife lens back, so I want to do a lot of stuff with that and, and having just really beautiful high def nature shots. Uh, the golf course, you know, going back on the vibes and creating content there, because that's a way where I kind of just be myself and be funny and, and let go and let loose a uh, basketball content man I've really been working very hard I tore my ACL twice uh, working hard to just be the best I can be at basketball for no specific reason just for the pure love of basketball and there's just so many ideas and outlets that I have and for me I just need to continue to create continue to start not worry so much of all oh, this video needs to be edited better or uh, this isn't good enough and just and just grow and each video is going to be, be better and for this video you know I just said John just create sit down talk just get, get get some videos up it's been two weeks I wanted to post once every week and I obviously did not do that so it's like what are you doing you know I've been creating a lot on Instagram and TikTok and finding my flow and momentum is building you know I'm grateful momentum is building you can see in my voice I'm finding that flow energy is here I'm tapped in tapped into my higher self my godlike self the universe meditations have been hitting deeper I've just been connecting receiving downloads and in, in information and intuition about who I am and what necessarily the journey and the steps that I need to take and the clarity and the people that are coming into my life that are aligning with me and this higher purpose and it's just incredible and I'm just so grateful for this journey for this purpose and it's gonna be a wild ride so these are the early early stages and I love YouTube man I, I can see me resonate with YouTube so much you know I would love to be a, a big creator and I know there's gonna be a lot of work in that but I have that full belief in my message that this is gonna be powerful I have a lot of stuff that the world needs to hear especially about nature like there's so many things we do wrong culturally about nature and the way 
how we build our landscapes. Like, but there's so much room to grow and there's so much we can do right. Like we gotta understand the number one thing anyone can do for nature, anyone. It's not, I gotta stop eating meat. It's not, I gotta go protest climate change. It's not, stop driving your car, ride your bike to school. Not that those things are bad, but no, they're not as important as planting native plants, as bringing in your own yard. Everyone has grass, everyone, if you have a yard, a house, has a lot of land and, and that could be nature, that could be wildlife habitat. And the number one thing anyone can do is, even if it's just 10 square feet, take that space and turn it into what it used to be for millions of years, the true native habitat that it once was. And if we all do that together, we all play our part a little and we caretake over our land, that's gonna rebalance this earth, that's gonna rebalance our ecosystems, that's gonna bring biodiversity back. And it's also gonna reconnect your connection to nature. And that's powerful and it's so needed right now. And I see a movement happening. I see people starting to connect the dots and be like, wow, we need native plants. We need to start planting native plants. These invasive plants are out of, all over the place. They're out of control. Let's start getting volunteer groups to remove them and, and better our local parks and just connect back to nature. Learn about nature. Learn what birds you can see. Learn what trees are in your front yard. Learn what plants are around you. And because the more you learn about nature, the more you'll appreciate nature. And if you appreciate nature, you'll realize how much you want to help nature and how much you care about nature and how much you love nature. And nature will feel the same way about you and you'll connect back to you. And it's just a beautiful process. So just for this video, man, I just wanted to talk. I wanted to connect. I wanted to be real with y'all. I wanted to just be myself. And that's what it is. Y'all get my truth. I'm not, a, I'm not afraid to speak my truth. I'm not afraid to be myself, be my authentic self. And I used to be. I definitely used to be. I used to be embarrassed to be like, yeah, I'm a bird watcher. I love nature. But when you kind of when you kind of let go of that fear and you move into it, it's a little uncomfortable expressing yourself to the world. But then when you get comfortable in that, oh my goodness, there's power. I feel powerful in my true self. I feel strength in my true self. There's moments where I'm just, I'm listening to some music. I just feel so tapped in. The universe is within me and God is within me. You can feel it. And it's powerful and it's beautiful. And the vibrations on earth are rising. And in a way, we're being tasked and called to raise our vibration. And if not, if we're stuck on this fear, low vibration density, yeah, it's going to look like the world's falling apart because we are going to a shift. The world is changing. We all feel it. Whether we're conscious or not, we feel it. And it's time we move through. It's time we get back to nature, connect to our true selves, and just learn. So blessings, y'all. I hope you appreciated this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope you're excited for what's to come in this future. And I'm going to be more consistent. I'm so excited to create and post and tap in. Blessings, y'all. Thank you. Go connect to nature.